the Law Society of Kenya, LSK Caucus President Eric Theory, has poured cold water on President William Ruto initiated law review proposals through a memo to Parliament dated December 9th, addressed to both speakers of the bicameral house. The Constitution is very clear on the means of amending the Constitution with Article 255, providing the matters that require a referendum and any amendment not related to matters mentioned in Article 2551 are to be enacted by Parliament or by popular initiative. In rejecting the move, LSK highlighted key issues entailed in the memorandum, among them the National Government Constituency Development Fund, the Senate Oversight Fund, the National Government Affirmative Action Fund, and the amendment to the Parliament standing orders to facilitate the participation of Cabinet Secretaries and Chief Administrative Secretaries in Parliament proceedings, as proposed by the President, are unlawful. It is noted that the amendments as proposed by the President fall under the scope that require a referendum. And if pursued by way of the president's proposition, then the sovereignty of the people of Kenya would be undermined. LSK also noted that the establishment of the office of the official leader of opposition and a formula to help calculate the gender ratio in the National Assembly were also some of the alleged derogatory attempts to bypass referendum, hence violation of verdict on building bridges initiative. As the Law Society of Kenya, we are outstanding by this move by the President given that the amendments will affect the overall structure of Parliament and the Executive. The Legal Minds Chair claimed that the leader of opposition proposals violate the country's concept of separation of powers and are impracticable for institutionalization. LSK has called on the Speaker of the National Assembly to notice that the aforementioned modifications should not be made public in the Parliament and has proposed a number of actions. The Law Society calls upon the Speaker of the National Assembly to note that the proposed amendments are unconstitutional. The amendments are being initiated by the president contrary to the decision in the BBI case and so therefore they should not see the light of day in parliament as they are being a very clear precedent that has been set by the courts that proposed those proposed amendments should not be entertained by parliament stanley lugaria the informer uncovering the truth